got here today is a Charter Arms Boomer. The Charter Arms been making their Bulldog 44 Special Revolvers for a long time. They're a five shot, small frame, compact, uh, lightweight revolver. Uh, the Charter Arms been around for heck. I've got some that was made almost before I was, many years ago. But they're dandy little weapons. I keep some stashed around the house because they're easy to use. 44 Special is just a, it's a it makes it a nice big hole. And this little boomer is uh, something extra special. When I first found out they was making these, I immediately ordered them. I've got five of them myself, and my brother Bogues got one. But um, they come, uh, they're available in two finishes. You can use it stainless steel or black nitride over top of stainless. And the nitride gives it a, a harder surface, and it's got a little bit of uh, lubricity to it. So it, uh, it makes it hold up really well. But I really like the black finish myself. The barrel is... Uh, Two, uh, normally two inch barrel, I think it's about 1.9 inches. It's ported to keep down muzzle rise when you're uh, shooting it and you'll notice right off it has no front sight. This is made for up close and dirty work where most social situations take place. If you have a bad uh, situation, you know, a guy's not going to be across the parking lot and holler at you, hey, I'm fishing going to burn and kill you. He's going to walk up to you, uh, hey man, you got 50 cent angle bar or a bum of light or something like that and then he's on you before you know it. You pull this out, it's a uh, which I've always been referred to as a belly gun. Pull it out, stick it in the belly, and pull the trigger. But most uh, bad social conflicts take place within arm's length, you know, really a, a reachable distance. Uh, and, and that's when somebody's on you and you got to shoot them. Something like this you can keep in your pocket really handy. But uh, having no sights on it, you know, out, out past 12 yards or so, pretty hard to hit with something like this. So when I carry... I put on a Crimson Trace laser grip. Let me open this up, show you it's unloading. With that laser, you put that dot on target, and that's where your bullet's going. So even out 25 yards, I got no problem keeping every shot out of this 44 Special on a human-sized silhouette target at 25 yards. Uh, uh, we'll do a little steel ring in here with it in a few minutes to show you. I'll demonstrate I'll be shooting some steel about 15 yards on about a 12-inch wide steel plate. And... Uh, should be able to hit it every time with this. That that Crimson Trace laser grip, if you'll notice, it's about the same size overall, same weight, everything as the factory grip that comes on this uh, Charter Boomer. Now, they call it the Boomer, uh, which is an appropriate name for a little belly gun like this with a big bore. But Boomer was, uh, uh, Nick Ecker runs Charter Arms. That was his dog. He had to prototype this laying on his desk. Went to his office one day and his dog was using it as a chew toy, so he named it Boomer. You know, revolvers like this, back in the, back in the 70s, Larry Kelly at Magnaport was taking uh, charter revolvers, chopping the barrel off, doing them just like this. Porting the barrel, bobbing the hammer, which just has a bobbed hammer, and they, they sold a lot of them back then called a backpacker. This is called a Boomer, but it's a handy little revolver. It's a good big bore size. It's not much larger than a, a compact 38 special you carry in your pocket, but it makes a lot bigger hole. These guns are double action only, which means you pull the trigger, the gun will fire. You can't you can't cock the hammer, it has no uh, single action cocking notch on it, but it's point and shoot. Very simple, easy to use, reliable, uh, accuracy is, you know, uh, plenty good for social work even without sights on it. Works really well. It's a good revolver, and, and I'm, I intend to carry one every day. And it's a charter on Boomer. Now, if you want to, uh, if your dealer don't have one of these, uh, you can order them online. Go to click on the Gun Genie at GalleryGuns.com. You can order this Charter Boomer, or uh, if you want to find a charter dealer in your area, uh, go to Lipsy's.com. Click on the Dealer Finder, and you can find it there. We're going to shoot a little bit. I got some ammunition I want to show you. We we'll have some good still pictures of. One I really like to carry is the Lehigh Defense Extreme Penetrator. Uh, it's already a 44 caliber, so it's not made to expand, but the shape of the bullet nose does a lot of uh, damage in flesh and tissue, things like that, but it will keep penetrating. It's a 220 grain bullet. I was worried about losing a lot of velocity out of this short barrel, but it's, uh, they advertise at 750 feet per second, and it's averaging 768, 10 feet from the muzzle. So they, they uh, they rated it to work in short barrels, and it works really well in this. There's a lot of good ammo on the market. You're not stuck with sissy little cowboy loads for your 44 specials. There's some good stuff out there. 
Buffalo bore makes a load for it. Uh, most Buffalo bore heavy stuff, uh, 44 Special, don't use in these little guns. <clears throat> but they do have a load that'll work in it. Also some good hollow points out there from Remington and others. But I really like that Lehigh Defense load, put them on carry in mind. And uh, it's the Boomer from Charter Arms. Uh, one thing I want to show you about this new Boomer, it's uh, they're, they're small and light. They weighs in 18 ounces on my scale with no ammo in it. It's about the same size, weight, shape, everything as this old 38 I carried many years ago. I had to do some work that required it. Back then, if you had a gun on you, you was either, you was, uh, you was usually labeled as a cop. If you had a concealed gun on you, you could be spotted. So this I carried in my boot for a while, and uh, it was a last ditch gun to use just when I had to. It has no front sight. I bobbed the hammer myself, but it's 38 special. The holes in it is not nearly as big as the holes in this uh, new Boomer. Boomer makes a lot bigger hole in something. It's 44 special, but roughly the same size and weight. Slips really well into the pocket, and it's a, a pretty good upgrade from this old 38 charger. Right on. Like I was saying, a uh, uh, gun like the little Charter Boomer, it's made with no front sight, and bottom hammer, so it don't snag coming out of the pocket. It's made for when, you know, when you need a gun in a self-defense situation. And I'm not talking about police officers, things like that. They have different situations. They might need one for a backup gun. But most of us, you know, a conflict's going to happen really quick. And if you need it, you're going to need it quick. Somebody's going to be right on you. And you're going to have to shoot them at close range. It's just point and shoot. You know, uh, most situations, you know, we go, we train on square ranges and we shoot at things and, and they tell you concentrate on your front side and that's wonderful. But there ain't one guy out of a hundred when he's being attacked is going to concentrate on anything but that attacker. That's what you're going to be looking at. A gun that, that uh, is powerful, points naturally, easy to use. Something like this charter is handy for something like that. I'm going to demonstrate a little further out how handy this Crimson Trace laser is here. You know, even a gun that's got sights on it, sometimes you're not in a position where you can stand squarely and see your sights. But uh, something like this, if you need to make a more precise shot a little further out, that Crimson Trace laser really makes a difference. I was easily able to pop this guy from about seven yards out. I've been popping steel. Got steel plates about that wide. I've been popping at uh, about 15 yards with this laser on here. Laser really helps you. Anytime, uh, you, chances are if you need a gun in a bad situation, it's going to be in the dark. Something about these thugs, they like to sleep all day and work at night, I guess. I don't know why, but they, uh, they like to operate in the dark, and, and your chances of needing a gun is most likely to happen in the dark. You need something on your weapon where you can see uh, where your bullet's going in the dark. Now, a lot of people, they tell me all the time, that it's useless to have a laser because you know they can they can point shoot and I can tell you anybody can point shoot close range that's uh, pretty easy to do if you got a gun that points well but if you've got somebody you know dragging your daughter into a van at 25 yards and all you got is a pocket gun I, uh, personally I like to be able to make that shot if I have to if you have to make a head shot you can make it if you got a good laser on there where you can see where that bullet's going regardless of the lighting situation.